Here comes Kaine. How are you all doing today? This is Excellency Kaine Kranda, now in the studio. So, I'm going to take much of my time today. I have a wonderful young man in the studio today. And I told you earlier that we're expecting someone. So, I'm going to make him. I'm going to make him introduce himself, as I always do. So, ladies and gentlemen, without taking your time, show me Mr. Lewis Kelly. You're welcome. Please, do have a seat. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. You're so tall. Yeah. How tall are you? Oh no. Oh no. Thank God I'm wearing something a little bit high, so I won't be looking for myself. <laughs> so normally I like people to tell to introduce themselves because I might not call your name properly, you know. So we'll be right back. It's time to talk. Welcome back. Today I have a very young man in the studio. I don't want to talk too much about him. I want him to do justice to himself. So, you're welcome. Thank so you. tell us yourself. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Hi, good day, everyone. A good day. I'm Louis Kelly. Um, I'm an actor. Also, I'm a consultant as a missionary um, in hospitality business. So, I do a lot of businesses too. Thank you. <laughs> Is that how you introduce yourself? You just say something, you know. But you didn't say you're a model. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> So people know you as what? Okay, so many people know me as a model and mostly an actor too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you have a little portfolio, you know. You're young, you're handsome, you're an actor, you're a model, you're a consultant. How did you find yourself in all this? Okay, um, um, let's say when I was in higher institution, um, a lot of people told me that I have the physics, I have everything. What that it takes, yeah. Body. Yeah, I have the voice, I have the charisma, I have everything, perfectly everything. So along the line, I know it wasn't easy because of financial stability, but this is what I love and I just have to push it. And a lot of people support me, my fans, um, friends, families, and everyone they supported me. So that's why and it's kind of a bit smooth. Mm, nothing good starts easy. Most times, some things will make you want to change your mind. Am I sure I'm doing the right thing? Am I? Yeah. So talk a little bit about your acting career. How did you start? When was your first movie? How did you all come to play? Because want, um, knowing that I want to be an actor is one. Finding a role, like who's going to accept me to actually showcase my talent is another. So how did you get into the movie industry? Okay. Like I said, it wasn't easy though. Yeah. 
my first movie was, um, I think, Halita. They were showing it on GSP. Halita, okay. Yeah. I actually followed a friend. Okay. I just accompanied him to snap pictures of behind the scenes. So, uh, I think the PM of the, the job told me, she was like, who is that young man that this is the perfect character we needed for that particular scene? Mm. And like, I told my friend that I've never had a movie before. So, uh, he said, just go try it. Yes. I said, okay, no problem. So they gave me um, a particular role, which is um, um, the bad guy, the person who killed Anita's mother. And I was like, okay, no problem. And they were like, wow, this guy is right. Because I actually played the character very well. Mm. They were like, how long have you been acting? I was like, I lied actually. I was like, at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, uh, well, well, it's been a while. And yeah. They were not like, okay, no problem. In case there's any movie, they'll call me, they'll contact me. And that's how I find myself into the industry. With time, people enjoy my movie. I know I'm not, I'm not a celebrity, but at least my face has gone to an extent. Yeah. That's what I said. But though, um, I'm an Abuja actor. Okay. There's no, they don't give we the Abuja actors room for some certain part of movies. So, okay, why I came here is actually to talk about the Abuja film acting. Okay. It's not really helpful though because a lot of people are complaining. Like I can't, I can't picture. I can't actually picture a star in Abuja yet. Let's come to that. You know what? This is another part of the story. Let's take a little break. Then we'll be right back. It's time to talk. Yeah, we're right back. Welcome back. So something you said is interesting. You say Abuja don't have stars. Yeah. In the Nollywood yeah. movies. Yeah. Why is that? But I know so many people pay their ear for me. Okay, uh, all the lot of these things. But actually, where we get most of these stars is Lagos, Asaba, Potakot. Abuja doesn't have a face. We don't have a star. They, they, they always come here to use us and just maybe, uh, let's say, they can call it Waka Pass. Yeah, we, we do a lot of so, um, like, let me just say, we don't have the opportunity to shoot, like, as a lead character in some movies. Yeah. So, Lagos has taken all over the industry. Lagos, mostly Asaba, they've taken all over the industry. And most of the times, they bring movies here to shoot, to which shoot. is not supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, really? Why? Is it supposed to be, is it meant to be zone, zone, huh? like you? Yeah. Okay, okay. If you're shooting in Abuja, you're supposed to contact maybe the AGN of Abuja that, yes, we are filming here and we are, we are likely to use... The people here. Exactly. But wow. what they do here is, like this recent movie that I just shot, um, that I forgot to the name, though. Yeah. They packed um, Potakot, Lagos, Asaba. They brought them here. They pay them huge amount of money, the actors. Why we? They are paying us peanuts. Is it because Abuja is beautiful? They are looking for location? Or they just feel like, okay, why Abuja? Why would they come to Abuja with all these actors? Okay, because Abuja has a lot of um, location, nice places to shoot. Yeah. So I think why they come here mostly is because Lagos as like people have already seen their locations already in movies. I understand. Yeah, that makes in sense. Asaba too. So they come here in, uh, let me just say, in Abuja mm -hmm. to look for good places. And they want to use us. And when they want to use we the Abuja people. face, they always make us be little like, maybe they, we, we only shoot like one scene or two scenes. Yeah. 
So that's what they do, and it's not really fair. And most of the times, when we, when we, when we shoot a movie, our movie doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Even when they come? Yeah, our movie Why? don't go anywhere. Like we, we the Abuja face, if we want to shoot a movie, before we get marketers to, um, to promote air our, yeah, yeah. To air our movie, it's not really easy because we have to transport ourselves to Lagos or Asaba to look for marketers. And they will start giving us some high demands, like we need like five faces, like we need like five celebrities. To be inside a movie. Inside. Sometimes our movie just end up on laptop. Mm, to be inside the movie because yeah, because on the other hand, you know, you a you know you a you are you say you're a businessman. Yeah. They want to make money. Exactly. And the movie industry, though it's for entertaining, is also for making money. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to put their money when they know that, ah, I'm not too sure. Because those characters, those faces already are known. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the Abuja people are not doing some things right. I see a lot of things that we're doing. Okay, okay. Our AGN here mm -hmm. are supposed to fight for these things. To work, yeah. yes. But what, what the AGN are doing now is, they, they instead of them to make, uh, like, arrange all these things and put them in order, they would take a film to Lagos. So that's the problem now. So the problem is not your character. That, that's the problem. Man, it's not really the people that are supposed to fight for the union are not speaking because if they are not taking the movies out to Lagos or to Asaba and they stick to Abuja and make it leave, like this is our territory, this is our zone, yeah, yeah. and then now they have a voice. If you have to bring a movie to Abuja, yeah. this is what you must do, and they now fight their rights. People that are coming will say no. We want only four people. Abuja is going to bring six people. So that way, they will not begin to rec recognize the Abuja people. Mm. You know? Well, actually, like if you go to Asaba now, you dare not bring a movie from Lagos. So come to Asaba. Come to Asaba without their knowledge. And you must use their people. Because they are strong. That's the fam. Because they are strong. Anyway... When he's just talking about the Abuja movie industry. So, you know, for someone, because this is not just a show, we let people talk and they, because sometimes it might not be something so heavy, but it might be something that is actually hurting somebody, you know? And I don't know what the AGMs are, I don't know, because I feel you guys should do the right thing. Make it a very strong foundation and make your voice known. So you so your actors will not go away to Lagos and Asaba because before you know, they'll be gone and then you don't have good characters. Sure. You know. Sure. So please pay attention and let Abuja also have a good lead. So anyway, he will come your way in again next time. This is the kind of kind of show. Be positive. Bye for now. It's time to talk.